Oh, Jared. <clears throat> uh, what do you think, Jared? A bit too uh, frivolous for the wife of a judge? Well, now, I'd say that depends on the judge or uh, even more on his wife. <laughs> I think Irene would love it. Good, good. <clears throat> um, speaking of Christmas presents, what do you say we collaborate on one for Maybelle Williams? I hope you're not asking me to set bail. Well, she's only a kid, you know. My answer is no. Well, why not? There's no proof as yet that she was actually Billy Joe's accomplice. You're right. But it would be the height of folly to let her out of that cell for even one minute. She's a wildcat, Jared, right out of the brush. And I trust her just about as much. And besides, with Billy Joe Gaines on the loose, it's asking for trouble. All right. All right, suppose you release her in my custody. What? I'll guarantee that she won't run away and that she won't jeopardize public safety. You can't make that guarantee. Possession of stolen goods is a bailable offense, Your Honor, and that's all she's been charged with. She's not worth it, Jared. Well, now, suppose we just wait and see about that. All right. I'll release her in your custody. But how much you want to bet, you'll regret it. I'll bet you a box of your favorite cigars. It's a bet, Counselor. Suppose you're waiting for me to thank you. Not necessarily. I'm just doing my job. Taking me home to spend Christmas with your family? Or is that just what you told the judge? Maybe you got some other plans for us, Counselor. Like maybe you got some plans that you and your client might get together real cozy like and discuss the case. You know, I was gonna buy some clothes for you. I imagine you're just about the same size as my little sister, Audra. Now you look, Counselor. I never asked you to get me out of jail or to buy me anything, and I especially never asked you to be my lawyer. Well, that little pleasure was arranged for me by the Women's League. Then you were forced to defend me. Now, look, whether you like it or not, the law says you've got to have a lawyer. They asked me, and I accepted. It's that simple. Those old biddies at the League probably asked you to take me home with you, too. This wasn't your idea, was it? Maybelle, it's Christmas. Now, no matter how the arrangements were made, you're going to spend the holiday with my family. What do you say we make it a pleasant one? We can't, Counselor. Because nothing's good for me, nothing! Unless I'm with my Billy Joe. Listen to me. You try that just one more time. Maybe there won't be a next time, Counselor. Uh-huh. Let's go. Home or back to prison. You've got a real itch for jail, haven't you? Well, you keep this up and you'll spend a long, long time there. Now, maybe I can help you and maybe I can't. But if you escape, the Supreme Court won't be able to keep you out of San Quentin, understand? Now, let's go. 
All right, Counselor, but you may not have the pleasure of my company for very long. Billy Joe's on the loose, and he's coming for me, law on his trail or not. And when I'm with Billy Joe, nobody's going to catch me. Oh, it's beautiful. It is kind, isn't it? Just beautiful. Went all the way to Bridge Peak for that spruce. Fought snow and blizzard. And wolves. And frozen feet. Oh, you boys are magnificent. It's kind of scrawny, isn't it? Scrawny! Uh, family, this is Maybelle Williams. Maybelle, this is my mother, my sister Audra. Nice meeting you, Miss Williams. And those two questionable gentlemen over there struggling with that piece of lumber are my brothers, Heath and Nick. Hello. Maybelle Williams. That's right. The Maybelle Williams. Uh, as Maybelle's attorney, I was able to uh, arrange for her to spend the Christmas holidays with us. Of course. I'm so glad that Jared could arrange that you wouldn't have to spend Christmas in... that you could visit with us. I'll bet you are. What's your boyfriend, Billy Joe Gaines, doing for this Christmas, Miss Maybell? Nick. It's all right. Billy Joe has things to do and places to go, Mr. Barkley. Oh, I'm sure he has. Like what bank is he robbing this week? I think that'll be enough, Nick. Perhaps you'd like to wash up. Maybe I'd better. It was a dusty ride out here. I'll show you to your room. Jared, you should have given us some warning. Or at least check with us to see what we'd say about you bringing home Billy Joe Gaines's girlfriend as a house guest. Or maybe I should freshen your memory on Billy Joe Gaines. Nick, lower your voice. This will be your room while you're here. I'm sure you'll find everything that you want. There's water in the pitcher for you to wash with. Now, ain't that fancy? A washing up place right in the bedroom. He wouldn't agree unless I told him she'd be in my custody. In other words, the judge doesn't trust her any more than I do. Jared, I want her out of here. Nick, I can hear you without yelling. When you're ready, I'll, I'll show you around if you'd like. Yes, sirree. It gives you a real warm feeling right in the pit of your stomach. How about you? You as glad to have me around as the rest of your family? I can't answer that yet. And I thought it'd be love at first sight. All the way around. You're saying as she admits to being Billy Joe Gaines' girlfriend, a vicious, outright killer. Nick, we're not concerned at the moment with Billy Joe. Well, I am. And I have been concerned about Billy Joe for an awful long time. Nick, we know. We all feel the same. Peace, let me tell you about Billy Joe Gaines. This happened before you got here about a year ago, just Christmas last year. Billy Joe Gaines and his boys decided they would hold up the Stockton Bank. The teller, Dave Ross, a very good friend of mine, was just a little bit too slow about shoving the money into the satchel. Well, Billy Joe thought he was stalling. So he pumped two bullets into Dave Ross's stomach. And as Dave Ross lay there on the floor bleeding to death, Billy Joe Gaines and his gang helped themselves to $10,000. It was Billy Joe's Christmas gift to Stockton that year. Jared, it's not easy to admit to mistakes. I know that. It's not easy for me. Why don't you take her back? Jared, maybe he's right. Heath, what do you think? I'm not sure. Gaines didn't gun down a friend of mine. But if he had, I might feel different. I vote for whatever Nick wants. Jared, what'd you bring her here for? <laughs> well, I... Uh... I suppose I could tell you I did it because I thought I could do my job better if she were here. 
And? And it was Christmas. Yes, I suppose that's partly the reason. You know, it was a funny thing. I went to visit her in her jail cell this morning to discuss her case, find some basis to defend her. And all the time I was talking to her, she just kind of stared at me, defiantly. And it made me angry, because I felt guilty. Guilty that it was Christmas, that I was coming home to my family and leaving her there all alone in that cold cell. And the guiltier I felt, the angrier I got. So I left. And I told myself, after all, it wasn't any of my business. I didn't put her in there. I was merely trying to help her. And I told myself that all the way over to Judge Parker's office, where I promptly asked him to release her into my custody. Now, Nick, if you really want me to take her back to that cell, I'll do it. But somehow, I don't think you do. All right, Jared. All right. And I hope we all have a Merry Christmas. Welcome. Does that include everybody? It sure includes us. Why, there isn't a bounty hunter or a low man in this state that wouldn't more than welcome us. Yeah, well, the way I figure it, we're about 100 miles from Stockton. We travel about 35 miles a day. We'll make it by Christmas. Only thing is, that pace isn't going to give you time to get her a present. You're wrong, friend. Me. I'm going to be her Christmas present this year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 